Hey, what up America, what up world? This your man, Bouchon Glover. A Better Black America is the brand. A Better Black America TV on YouTube, please subscribe. Uh, conservatives of America-COA. Now, conservatives don't mean Republican. Now, right now, we need to really pay attention and really understand like what's at stake. This is our last move to win this chess game. So if we sit back and be quiet and let black ignorance, you know, trap us and run a cipher and put us back in a, uh, a 21st century crime bill to actually eliminate an entire generation. We see it with our own eyes and we're supposed to be distracted and not see the play. Now, that uh, H.R. 55 Emmett Till anti lynching act, that's not a bill to stop lynching. They basically put some loopholes in there. So they put uh, terrorist threats. They put uh, kidnapping, uh, human trafficking. So if you're charged with any of these, which can actually, you could be innocent, you're going to get a minimum of 30 years. So it's kind of like the 94 crime bill, three strikes. So this right here is a one striking you out. You're getting 30 years. So the game is chestnut checkers. So we know what they're all about. We know what they're capable of doing. We know what they are doing purposely in our face because somehow they taught us or or got us to uh vote for the lesser of the two evils but that's an epic fail the devil we know don't be don't trump the one we don't know now what i'm saying is from a conservative perspective it does not mean republican conservative mean heterosexual conservative mean god man woman and child conservative mean responsibility for your community and if we sit back in silence then we might as well take the silver bullet and start killing our young and incarcerating them because there's no way we can move forward with a criminalization clause still in the Constitution. We just got a Supreme Court justice in the Supreme Court by the name of Ketanji Brown Jackson. She's a black woman. She's from Harvard, Harvard, both campuses, North and South, the red and the blue. And we sitting back, can't even celebrate or can't even have a conversation because we just had a, uh, terrorist attack by a black man in New York named Frank Frank James that's his name a brother named Frank James has been uh, handed over to the FBI because he's being going to be prosecuted as a domestic terrorist so now we terrorists now you would think his name would be you know some I leave some lot but you know but now we got a brother in there named a common name Frank James a terrorist really so what does this mean this means we're the best and the worst meaning black excellence always get trumped out by black ignorance like i said we should be celebrating our dear sister you know from harvard that's going to be sitting on the supreme court justice which is a lifetime position and then we get frank james commit a terrorist attack in the subways of new york city in brooklyn and then we get the lieutenant governor, the brother Democrat by the name of Brian Benjamin. He was able to resign yesterday after getting arrested for money laundering and all other types of things. So we're the best and the worst. We can't even celebrate for a week without this nonsense. So just understand and think about where we used to be. Think about when the 94 crime bill came out and our parents and grandparents locked up our uncles and big homies because of fear. So now we cannot be living in fear and we got to go back and right the wrongs the generation x is the generation because x is an unknown factor for those who've been rocking with me for years listen this is the the outcry this is the moment right now where we really are going to turn it up a notch because we got everything we need to move forward so y'all stay tuned tomorrow's good friday so make sure you tap into a better black america podcast go ahead and google whatever app you got it's in there believe me it's in there that's how we eating conservatives of america dash coa conservatives of america dash coa that's the brand we're not republicans god man woman and child in that order because we know the black nuclear family is the one that was dismantled that would be the saving grace and that would help the black community change from a noun into a verb and basically make sense because there's no way under our watch we're going to sit back and let our parents and grandparents take the wheel skip us and then allow another generation to go down like they did our generation because if you was born between 1968 and 1979 you've been through some things 
And if you're semi successful, you feel like you're ultra successful because we basically made it past, you know, what was the intentions, meaning they wanted to shut us all down. So for us to make it, we're survivors. We survived the system. We survived eating everything that they thrown at us. So now that we are the survivors, it's time the survivors. It's time to tell our story. So I'm keeping it 100 with you on this um, pre Good Friday. Tomorrow's Good Friday. And like I said, it's time for us to really understand and have one core set of rules, have our own constitution, which is being drafted right now by yours truly and the team. And uh, like I said, I am is very pleased with those who have held their ground and did not sell their, their souls. Because if you sold your soul, you can't come out and be a part of something because we're going to look at you kind of strange. But for those who survive, this is time for us to be the ones to change the game. And when I say this is because I look at baby boomers, they look at my generation call us lost. X is an unknown factor. So now you're about to see what that unknown factor is. And that unknown factor is about to liberate, educate, cultivate, grow and put on a prosperity journey for the black community. And I got colors on my hat because the brand is black. We represent all colors, blacks, Latins, Asian, Caucasians. And the K in black is kinsmen. This is all our brothers and sisters. But this time we are not going to let you take the wheel. So in closing, when they said vote for the lesser two evils, um, that's an epic fail. And they said, uh, we know Joe and Joe know us. Epic fail. The devil we know clearly don't trump the devil we don't know. Peace out.